Hi, my name is Jeff Park. I'm the Director of Technology at HMI Licensing. And we are at the CES 2018 at the HMI booth, uh, showing some of the latest uh, technologies available. And one of the announcements we recently made was HMI 2.1. And here, uh, one of the demos we're showing uh, is Dynamic HDR, and, and one of our um, technology provider uh, partner is Technicolor, who's showing uh, advanced HDR by Technicolor. And uh, here in the uh, demo booth, uh, you can see uh, showing a, a great demonstration of Dynamic HDR. So Dynamic HDR is, is one of the new things with HDMI 2.1. Yes, it's one of the new features that it's was added. Yes, part of the HDMI 2.1 specification. Uh, HDMI 2 added uh, static HDR, and Dynamic HDR is an enhancement uh, to HDR to increase the picture quality even more uh, using uh, additional uh, data that's dynamic, can be uh, frame by frame or scene by scene to uh, have additional uh, metadata to help the quality of the videos. Hi, right, so, so who are you? Okay, so uh, I am Frederick from Philips. Actually, Philips is one of the founders of the HDMI uh, group. Uh, we are here to demonstrate uh, the Technicolor HDR that we have. Uh, so you work with te Technicolor to do the advanced HDR? Advanced yes, we, dynamic HDR? Yes, we, two years ago, uh, two companies were fighting against each other, proposing two HDR standards. And um, these uh, HDR standards have uh, merged. We have decided to merge them into one solution only, which is uh, uh, going to be uh, simplifying the, uh, the, the market and making sure that uh, both expertise of both companies are going to be merged to create the top quality uh, HDR uh, which we are demonstrating today. So Philips and Technicolor are very old companies actually. It, it, you kind of invented the TV and Technicolor was there also in a long time ago. Yes, Technicolor uh, has for example for 100 years been grading uh, Movie, movies cinema, cinema uh, of Hollywood and they are uh, based in Hollywood. Uh, Philips is, uh, has, has been selling TV sets for Decades. The first one to sell TV nearly. And, uh, and, and we still have a lot of expertise now uh, to, uh, selling t TV sets. Uh, we, we have stopped selling TV sets, but we have uh, still a lot of expertise in this domain. You have partners still selling the Philips brand TV sets, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we, we are working with uh, partners. We are licensing the Philips brand to, uh, to, co to, com to external companies uh, who, uh, who are, by the way, coming in, also taking this technology on board. Recently at CES, one of them announced that they are going to take this technology. Yeah, uh, so, uh, so there's several, uh, for example, right now, this is a static HDR, is like HDR10 kind of? Exactly, right? this is the, the, the HDR10 the, the technology, very, very uh, straightforward, yeah. uh, but also okay showing... for broadcast? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a okay for broadcast, but it has the the disadvantage uh, in in the that uh, it is uh, not going to be backwards compatible with other standards uh, which were in the past, which are legacy uh, legacy devices. Uh, SDR, our TV sets in the past were SDR only, okay, and recently HDR has come, so broadcaster wants. It wants to speak to uh, all the legacy devices, but also to the new devices with one stream. Uh, it's possible to do it with two streams, but it costs them more. With so HDR10, you need two streams. With the HDR10, you will need to. HDR10 is only speaking to HDR, HDR, HDR TV. TV sets. So there's a signal, and it says, "I'm an HDR TV. Send me HDR content." Exactly. And otherwise, if it's an SDR, it's a different stream. Absolutely. But here with this, this one is one stream for both? Exactly. This one is one stream for both. So that's competing with the HLG. That's, that's uh, indeed competing uh, with the HLG. The difference that we are, uh, offer is that uh, we send dynamic metadata on the channel. And this is also uh, the reason why we are here on the HDMI uh, booth, because we in the HDMI 2.1, uh, this uh, transport of metadata, of dynamic metadata, which has to be very frame accurate, which has to be very specific, uh, will be enabled by the HDMI uh, 2.1 specification. Will be actually, it will be a, a part of the spec. Yeah, exactly. It's be 100 percent specified. Um, that's that's a, that's a new part of HDMI 2.1.
but yeah. there's uh, there's several different uh, dynamic HDR standards out there. But some of the other ones are more for they're not so suited for broadcasting, maybe, right? Because it's separate streams, and also it's not for real time. Yeah, our, our technology is very well suited for broadcasting. It's it's uh, it, it, the dynamic HDR, uh, the dynamic metadata will enable that frame per frame, on a frame accurate basis, you will have the right tone mapping, which is uh, content adaptive, which is really suited to the content. To the so, uh, if a frame uh, has uh, needs a specific uh, tone mapping curve. Uh, it it will be um, it can be different from the next frame. Okay, so that is enabled by dynamic HDR, uh, and our technology is is as I said very very well compatible for um, for the, the the broadcasting industry because it brings this backwards compatibility that we mentioned earlier, and it brings the top quality of dynamic HDR.